Hi friends, today we're going to do these coin purses. They're really cute. They're made with the color pop tops. And since I have, I, I don't have a lot, this is the perfect project. I also used purse frames and this is a courtesy of BB Craft. And their information will be in the description of this video. I hope you like them and let's get started. recycle with me it will be fun and the supplies we're going to need for this project are we're gonna need 26 pop tops 26 color and 26 the regular color let's pick a nylon cord number nine which is available in my website ericacreativa.com uh, also cord uh, you can use rat tail cord journey cord or I'm using this suit cord um, scissors, crochet hook, I'm using a 2.25 millimeters lighter and a purse frame. This purse frame was a gift from BB Craft and again their information will be in the description of this video. Let's get started. We're going to craft three pop tops. Two pop tops are going to be on top of the other one and facing and they're going on the, the opposite direction as the other one. So these ones are facing down while the other one is facing up. So we're going to grab our cord, pull it up and then pull it down again, making sure that we grab the two pop tops on the top. And um, I'm not giving you an exact measure, I'm just calculating based on the number of pop tops that I'm going to need. So um, we're going to grab another pop top, in this case it's going to be the regular color and put it beside the other one and grab the cord and pull it up again now grab one of the blue pop tops and put it on top of the other one and face it on the opposite direction because it needs to be aligned with the previous ones so we're basically joining together two rows of pop tops and each row is going to have 13 pop tops each so this one is supposed to be the regular color and it's going to go on the bottom row and bring the cord up pull it up and then we're going to add another blue pop top and it's going to go on the top and in the same direction as the others and pull the cord down. We're going to follow the same steps to join the rest of the pop tops. Remember, we're joining 13 pop tops on each row. I already finished joining the 13 pop tops on each row, and now we're going to cut the cord, and I'm going to cut it about the same size as the other end. And we're going to add another row of pop tops. These are going to be the regular color and they're going to be they're going to go under the this one will be in the middle so the other one will go under and it's going to go in the same direction as the row in the middle. And I'm going to use a different color of the cord and it's an is for, I'm going to follow the same process. In this case, we're just going to add the pop tops on the third row. And we're going to follow the same process again until we complete the third row also with 13 pop tops. And I already finished joining 
the third row, the third row, and uh, let me explain something. The cord on one of the ends has to be has to be on the top, and the on the other end it has to go under. So we're going to close, and also one of the the, the middle row, one of them is inside while the other one is on the outside so we're going to bring them together and we're going to grab one of the cores and pull it down pull it through the pop tops and the same with the other cord and we're ready to tie both cords open a little bit this piece and we're going to fill the center and let me explain something um, we're not going to force the pop tops we're just going to follow the natural form that the design is given to these pop tops so the center is going to be really simple and small I can't tell you how many pop tops we're going to grab at the same time is for instance we're seeing to get together these three pop tops and probably we're going to join the three pop tops at the same time um, we're like it said we're not going to force them grab your co your nylon cord and your crochet and we're going to do one single crochet and then go to the next pop tops and we're going to do one single crochet and the next pop tops and single crochet so these three are together and we're going to grab them together and single crochet we're going to go to the next one so I'm not giving you an exact number of stitches we're just uh, making sure that we're grabbing all the pop tops at the same time I mean that we're going to grab all of the pop tops these two are together And I already got to the end and I'm going to do one more single crochet here and then um, close this round with a slip stitch and then chain one and we're just going to do uh, slip stitches because the circle is almost closed I'm skipping one one stitch and working on the other one and just doing slip stitches and this circle is almost closed and I'm just going to do one last slip stitch and we're going to turn this work and we're going to bring this loop toward the back and then cut the cord next thing we're going to do is that we're going to work on the second hole of the pop tops the ones that are on the outside because we want this the soft side of the pop tops to stand out like on this one so it's going to be a little bit hard but it's worth it so we're going to bring the crochet hook 
to the second hole of the pop tab and we're going to do a single crochet and then we're going to do two chain stitches one and two and go to the next pop tab and bring the crochet to the second hole of the pop tab and do a single crochet and then two chain stitches and we're going to go to the other side of the pop tab and do a single crochet and then two chain stitches we're going to go on the next pop tab on the second hole do a single crochet and then two chain stitches and bring those chain stitches and the crochet to the next to the other side of the pop tab and do a slip stitch I mean a single crochet and then two chain stitches we're going to go to the next pop tab and then single crochet two chain stitches the other side of the pop tab single crochet two chain stitches to the next pop tab single crochet two chain stitches and the other side of the pop tab single crochet and we're repeating the same steps and you don't see the stitches on this side but if you turn it all of the stitches are on the inside so we're going to continue all the way following the same steps until we get here I already got to where I started and I'm going to close right here on the first stitches that I did I'm going to close with the slip stitch and this is what we're going to do next chain one and the end we're going to work on the stitches that are behind we're going to do chain um, single crochet stitches and we're going to count and we should have from 70 to 72 stitches it can be 70, 71, 72 and like I said we're going to work on the stitches on the stitch behind So I already have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're working on the stitch behind eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, so we're going to continue until we get here where we started and it's, we're working on the stitch behind and we should have from 70 to 72 stitches all the way until we get here and I already got to where I started and I'm going to cross with the slip stitch and then chain one and do another round of single crochet throughout the entire round this one is really easy because we're just doing um, single crochet stitches on top of the single crochet stitches of the previous round so we're going to continue with the single crochet stitches all around until we get here and I already got to where I started and I'm going to close with the slip stitch cut the cord
and we're going to need two pieces exactly the same. Now that we have the two pieces ready, um, as you can see I added this flower in the center and what we're going to do next is that we're going to face them together or first I'm going to use this purse frame and I'm going to use my markers to see where I'm going to need to leave the free space. So I'm going to put one of the markers here and the other one So I'm going to remove the first frame, grab the other one, make sure that the flower is aligned in the center with this one, and I'm going to use a jumbo size needle with the same core, nylon core that I used on my two pieces, and we're going to sew them together. I always start from the inside. And do another one. So this is strong enough. And now this is really easy. We're just going to join with the needle both we're just going to join both sides with the needle and since we don't need this marker anymore we can always remove it And we're going to continue until we get here. I already got to the end and as in the first stitch I'm going to do a double stitch and then this is what I do. I bring the needle to, to the inside I already added a lining and now I'm going to add a purse frame. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please like this video, subscribe, and 
um, well, I'll see you on the next tutorial. Thank you.